I guess, but to me, they like they mean two different things. Okay, why does it mean two different things, John? Please let me know. I don't know. Best to me just mean like, like kind of best is more talent. Great is um, accolades, achievements. But but you, honestly, you may be the, so oh, you're telling me? Okay, I'm sorry, John. What are you saying? Finish. I don't no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. You had a question. Okay. Yeah. Done. Okay. So, John, you're saying greatest. And best are two different things. You say best is talent and greatest is accolades. Right. So if you're the greatest and you win all these accolades off of you not being the best player, how are you the greatest of all time in your position? Like Gronk is the greatest of all time in his position, and it's because he's literally the best tight end of NFL history. Like there's nobody better than him. Like you can say all these Tony Romance. Uh, and, and you could say Tony Gonzalez, you could say uh, Shannon Sharp, you could say all these other tight ends. But honestly, Gronk, not just because he played with Tom Brady, if he played with anybody else, it, it stands clear that he would have been the best quarter uh, tight end of history. Like his talent shows, right? That's yeah, not that's debatable. A, we, that's a fair point. Oh, and then, ahead. and then, and then, real quick, we talk about Deion Sanders. We talk about. He's one of the best athletes in history. He didn't win a lot of rings. He did not. But we talk about how he's the best DB. We talk about like all these things. He's the best athlete. Like he won three. He won three rings. Three. Yeah, he okay, won one with the Forty Nine two with the Cowboys. Patrick Mahomes gonna win three. How you like, know? Okay. Okay. And if stop he it. Stop it. He's going to win at least and, four. And, and if three. he does, and if he does, then he goes up on the greatest. And in terms of the totem pole, he, he goes higher if he wins more than three. Or if he wins. You three. talking about Patrick Mahomes if he wins more than three? Because he'd go higher on the greatest. Like he's be greater than what he is now. Like three Patrick Super Mahomes Bowls is going is a to win lot. at least four Super Bowls. But that's a quarterback. You talk. We talk. You just brought me a corner. You talking about? Uh, okay. Court. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But excuse me. You're right. So cornerbacks is a little harder for them to get, you know, those rings. They have to be in the right situation at the right time on the right defense. So yeah. and, and, and that shows to his greatness because a lot of those defense were built around who? Him. Okay? A lot of Tom Brady's offenses were built around him doing dump passes and five yard passes. I mean, we've seen the games. We will be six. We'll, and I, I, it sounds funny, but we're we seen the game. We'll be sick to our stomach. When he play our teams and he's not doing anything more than 15 yards since he won't get the ball picked. And even though he got way more interceptions than Aaron Rodgers, I'm not getting into that, but I'm just saying, like, Tom Brady is a glorified game manager. Wow. And he had the perfect that. situation Roger. to manage and Super Bowl I'll, winning I agree teams. with you, but I just feel like you can't take away from what he accomplished. Even if you say all of that, because, I mean, if you making it that simple, there should be other – I know there's a lot of other game managers out there. Yeah, but nobody who were put in the same situation as Tom Brady. Give me one. Give me one. Who had a perfect situation like Tom Brady did Troy to manage Aikman, the game? Troy Aikman had a perfect situation, and he was who? basically like that. Troy Aikman. Sorry, who? Troy Aikman. Troy Aikman. Okay. Troy Aikman didn't have Belichick as a coach. He had well, – Jimmy Johnson was a great coach. He's not Bill Belichick. But he had Emmitt Smith and Michael Irvin in the wall of Dallas. Was that – in a good defense, Deion Sanders played there. Is that a terrible team? Is that not a great situation? It's not a terrible team. He probably should have won more than what he did. But what I'm saying is that's still not what Tom Brady had. Like, that's not even comparable to what Tom Brady had. <laughs> Emmitt Smith? Emmitt Smith won the MVP as a running back. That's not comparable? Jerry Rice is the best receiver in NFL history. Okay. Next. I didn't say Tom Montana. Next. I said Tom Brady. Next. We're not, we, I didn't bring Joe Montana. I brought Tom Brady. We were talking about Tom Brady. Oh, but yeah, back to your point like, about like, Gronk. I mean, he just happened to be both. He just, so happened, he just to happened, both. happened to be both? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, he just happened to be the greatest and the best. No, there's no greatest and the best. There's no, you can do that. You can, you can do that. That is something you can do. There is a Who, difference, but you can okay. do it. Okay, okay, then let's talk about this argument. Who's the greatest running back of all time? That, well, that's he, very debatable. Now, when it comes to running back, that's, that's not yeah. debatable. That's not debatable. Know. Because it could be Jim one. Brown. It's it could be Barry Sanders. There you go. There you go. There you go. Because he has the what? The best yardage and the best stats. Okay? 
Who? We're not going to talk about anything else. Who? He's the best, and he's the greatest. There, it's, it's, it, it corresponds with each other. It corresponds with each yeah, other. Yeah, but... Uh, QB who, who did you say was great? Like, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go, yeah, go but ahead, a QB go. is a different position. Like a QB, you have more control over what your team does. Like you really the field general, as opposed to running back. If you don't have a good line, if you got a bad QB, it's gonna be hard for a running back to do certain things. You can, like for instance, if you put different running backs in different situations. That's like if you put Barry Sanders behind the line, Emmitt Smith had, then yeah, it, I mean he probably would be the greatest ever. But as QBs, like I feel like even if you switch Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, I don't think the the Patriots do what they did. I, I just are we you see serious? with Aaron Rodgers when he have a good. Team, are you serious? Which, they went they went to okay. Why did he lose? And I went six. Okay. John, John, defense, John. They had John. a good defense. His John, defense, they defense only allowed thirteen points. So why did they lose this year? <laughs> John, John, I'm listening. We already established Aaron Rodgers, quote unquote, the better quarterback than Tom Brady. But look, that's more talent, established. but I wouldn't say better. I mean, look, look, and that's the no, 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 no. <laughs> there is no argument that Aaron Rodgers is the better quarterback than Tom Brady. That's well, not an argument. Is We're Sam talking Brady about a goat. So, so the same thing applies with Dan Marino. You, we, we talked about Dan Marino and John Montana, Joe Montana, and you started, like, stuttering and things got silent. And it's the same thing. Is Joe Montana greater? His career is greater. Joe Montana on the greatness list is higher than Dan Marino. Similar to how Tom Brady is higher than uh, Aaron Rodgers. It's just, like, it's the same thing. It's just 30 years apart, but it's the same exact thing. But, well, yeah. It, and, and, and that's this conversation is kind of wild because Aaron Rodgers not even top three greatest quarterbacks if we thinking about it. Like he not he not even in that tier. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smoking, choker. You're smoking. You got to get off the weed. You know he you're like girls. I just want to know smoking. why they lost this his year. He got it around there permanently his whole career. Man, if a man has four MVPs and he's not considered one of the greatest, you're tripping. So it's Peyton Manning. So where you put Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning on the list against Aaron Rodgers? Against Aaron, I said they're about equal. I would say I would take either one of them. I said that is Aaron Rodgers. Be better than another. Somebody got to be better than another. Not everybody. We ain't all the same. Somebody got to be better. Who's better? Stop it. There's <laughs> ties. There's ties. Very Who's rarely, but there's ties. ties. And I said, and I said there's ties because Tom Brady. Like, okay, I'm about to get y'all with this. Go ahead, man. Get us. <laughs> all right. So both Aaron Rodgers and Peyton Manning. Won the games two different ways, but they're both the focal point of winning the game. Outside of uh, Peyton Manning's last Super Bowl, he was like on the downside, and he, you know, used the defense to get there, like Tom Brady and most of his Super Bowls. But I'm not gonna go there. But anyway, back in their heyday, Peyton Manning and Aaron Rodgers are both like the focal points of winning games, correct? And they're both chokers too, boy. Both postseason. Relax, 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 right? Right. That's not cap. Okay. okay, but keep going, keep going. Okay. Um, both these quarterbacks are great, but they both did it two different ways. Like, there is no mind like Peyton Manning. Like, there's no arm like Aaron Rodgers, okay? And that's and that's how I feel about that. Um, and and I feel like Peyton Manning, Peyton, Peyton Manning's mind is just as good as Aaron Rodgers' talent, okay? And I feel like you can win around both the same amount of games. And, and, and Peyton Manning's prime, okay? We're not talking about his last couple years. We're talking about in his heyday when he was going against Brady back to back to back to back to back to back. Okay? We're talking about that. All right? Okay. Even in those days, Peyton Manning didn't even have the supporting cast, and I'm not going into that. Oh my we just God. know That's that. Wrong. Do not get into that because that team was a really good. I w- I am in the AFC South. You are you you're in the AFC South too. You know that those were really good teams. Those are the really Broncos. Good teams. Or are you talking no, about the Colts days? The, the Colts, were, the, the Colts the were, were the Colts were nice, but when he was on the Broncos, let's not, let's not. Wait, wait, wait. you talking about with the Marius Thomas and Wes Welker? Yeah, Eric Decker. I remember what was the, the other Marius guys? Thomas Ooh. had two good years, and Von that Miller, was Demarcus and that Ware, was certainly one of them. Yes, because of yeah. Peyton Manning. Look, look, he, they had fifty. He threw Peyton Manning threw fifty five touchdowns, right? And he was like, yeah, because of Peyton Manning, this and that. And he went to the Super Bowl and he faced Seahawks. And they scored eight points. 
the you talking about the Seahawks like the Legion of Doom Seahawks? And, and and then the next year Tom Brady faced the same Legion of Doom Seahawks and won the Super Bowl. And how many points did he score? What it was twenty eight? He didn't score eight. And yeah, now that, that was broke down about to fall off the chair, hey, Manny. That pay, thank the, the you. Manny thank, that you. Eight points. thank you for letting no, them the, know the, that. The Thank Peyton you for letting him know that. No, wait, the Peyton Manning that scored eight points in that Super Bowl had 55 touchdowns, set an NFL record for passing yards, passing touchdowns, won the MVP, ran through the whole postseason, and faced that team and scored eight points. You are not going to tell me. That that Peyton Manning, who had th- he threw seven touchdowns versus Baltimore in week one, tying the NFL record. That's not a broken down Peyton Manning. That Peyton Man- his last year was broken down Peyton Manning. That Peyton Manning. That he lit- won a Super Bowl in? Yeah, with the terrible defense, then you gotta get benched and all that. Yeah, that that team. Yeah, thank you. I just, so I just what, wanted to make what, sure what, what, we what, was what, on the same page. But, but what is the? What, you ain't tell me nothing about the eight point game. Why he scored eight points against Seattle? I mean, okay, you're right. He scored eight points, and oh, that's terrible. But like I said, yeah. there's been Super Bowls where Tom Brady only scored one touchdown. <laughs> but what's what's look? And you looked at that game, and you saw. I know, you, and you look at these games because you have to look at these games and have the context of watching. And you see how the Seahawks destroyed the Broncos. Now Peyton Manning was completely off because Peyton Manning is seen as a choker. Peyton Manning, especially when he gets when he gets to cold area games, when he goes to places that don't have a dome and it's cold outside, he usually doesn't play very well. And there's but, multiple, multiple. But Jesse, but Jesse, here's what I got to say to that. Okay, like. <laughs> We're talking about one of the greatest defenses of all time, and we're talking about the defense that Tom Brady escaped because of a bad offensive call on the last second. Okay? So let's not talk about that defense didn't put both of these quarterbacks to shame almost. I'll tell you this. Look, that last play, I always remember. That's the worst play ever. I'm going to tell you, that's real. That's real. But in that game, like I told you, the second greatest comeback in Super Bowl history until the greatest happened was them being down 10 points. It was 14-24. And Tom Brady went. They scored two straight touchdowns. And there you go. So you tell me like There you go. There you go. That's not where it is. It is is on the one-yard line where they threw the ball. But is that better than the eight-point game? Is that better than the eight-point game? That's where it is. That's that where you say there it goes. That's where you say the Seahawks fumble, not the New England Patriots won. Tell me, is that better than the eight-point game? Was that better? That performance, is that better than scoring eight points? But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that defense, that defense literally on, almost beat both of these quarterbacks. The and when I say the almost, defense. I say almost the offense and the coach lost the game. The not not, not Tom Brady won the game. The A bad call defense. and bad execution lost the game because the they had the game in their lap. The Seahawks defense didn't stop. It was the Seahawks offense that stopped themselves. It wasn't the Seahawks defense. He was beating the Seahawks. That's why how he came back. He was beating down the Seahawks defense. They scored. He scored two straight touchdowns, and the last touchdown was obviously it was I guess the game winner. But and that was I, the touchdown that got them the lead. So I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I could be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, did the Seahawks defense get a pick six that game? I actually I do not remember that. I do not. I remember the Falcons defense got a pick six in their game. I don't think the Seahawks defense. Got I think I think they did. I I know they got turned. I think they did. If somebody want to Google that for me, but I think they did get a pick six that game. I don't, I don't, yeah, I, don't, I mean, maybe, but I don't think I just I remember the Falcons, but I don't remember the Seahawks doing that. Wait, look, like with the Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning and Aaron Rodgers combined are three. Tom has seven. It's like it's just, and even just them <laughs> together combined, it's still not even close to this man. He has four more than those two combined. That's you talking about rings? Yeah, very important thing you talk about. Yes, that's very no, important. No, it's not. It's not. That's what I'm saying. It's not. Because rings could be set up in situations. And, and you know how I know that's true? Let's talk about last year who got the ring. He got set up in a situation. Yeah, good for him. He went to a good place. Good, Thank goodness. Detroit's a place of hell. Thank goodness he went to a good place. We got like Detroit similar. Detroit this is Detroit, this, uh, it's Detroit's position and how they are. Is that similar to Green Bay? Is Detroit because Detroit's an awful place. No, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm just to, saying so. how we had an elite quarterback go from a god awful hell place to a, a heaven like team and win immediately. Immediately, it's, it's almost like Tom Brady did the same thing, and, that, and, 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 and we put him on a pedestal for it. In that point, that I agree with you, but 
It's like there's a certain level. Like, say, if he only had two or three rings, when you go to seven, like, that's when that's when it kind of take it to another level. If he only had two, then, yeah, I agree with you. Then we, we can't really use rings. But he has, like Jesse said, they got three. He got seven. That's more than double. So, but, I don't know. I just think. But, John, mm -hmm. I'm glad you agree with me on there. But what I got to say to that is, Jesse and Toby will point out like all the Tom Brady's 500 and like big game factors and all these big win seasons. And when they do these big win seasons and when they had, uh, I'm sorry, when they had um, Randy Moss and they went on this, on this greatest win of all time. And then when they, uh, Tom Brady throws for 500 yards, these all equate to losses. <laughs> so whenever Tom Brady seems to have success, it equates to losses. When we depend on Tom Brady's talent, it equates to losses. But, I but mean, he, he averages 300 point. yards, Jacory, in his Super Bowl but, wins. But, but thank you. He could do that wins. with a top 10 Three defense. But, but what does that defense said, he do with those 300 yards? Games. Games. I'm just telling you that he does. What do you mean? What is that? When he wins. What? What do you mean what defense I'll do with that 300 yards? Look, look, they get him the ball 25. so quick to where he could get that another defense. 70 yards, another 60 yards, another Your 80 yards. Your argument is changing so consistently. It's weird to me. No, <laughs> I've been saying the same stuff. <laughs> no, I've been saying the same stuff. I didn't change anything. I literally just rephrased it every You just said he don't go. play good. Like, whenever he plays good, his team don't win. Well, he plays good in his seven I said that three win. times. I didn't change anything. That's about the third or fourth time I said that. If you act like Tom Brady scores one touchdown and they, oh, my gosh, they're winning. All, you act like he's Trent Dilfer or something like that. Like, but, what, but hold on, hold on, hold on. How many times have he scored one touchdown or two touchdowns and they win? A lot more than often. A lot more not than often. Am I correct? The, and, and, what, and we talking about regular season, Super Bowl? We talking about? We're talking about postseason. No, he scored one I, or two touchdowns and they win. I, I mean, I know he's against been to the Rams. He's obviously done that. He's obviously done that because you know, obviously he's been to a ton of postseasons. But there's so many games where he scores, where he plays really well and they win, and there's games where he plays really well and they lose. It's just how it is. That's just how, just with longevity, you're playing but, sports. That just happens. But what I'm saying is, okay, we talk about oh, Aaron Rodgers a choker because he had MVP and in the postseason he choked, but when Tom Brady put up a MVP like season, they lose, and nobody talks about that. But when he, you know, plays more mundane, and then you know he kind of feeds the ball around, and you know gets the running back involved, and the defense does their part as a top ten defense, he's the greatest quarterback of all time. Right? What the I hell? You know, you know the funny thing when he was down twenty eight to three against the Falcons, he didn't even have Rob Gronkowski. That man tore an ACL. It was just Julian Edelman, and. Well, it was Julian Edelman, James White, Rob Gronkowski had a torn ACL. That was like a free ring for Gronk. Didn't do anything in the game. Didn't play. And in that, and me, that's why I'm thinking he's not going to be able to come back from this. And then you see that, oh, he's on it. Like, he's on this type of timing. Every time now, has. Every now, you're time. right. You're right about one thing about that Super Bowl, though. The Falcons had a buzzsaw offense, but their defense is just as bad as it is today. They had one or two. It's not. It helped it better. It's not. But. It, it was a, it was a, it wasn't a superstar defense, but it was, it was a good defense. It was like it was like a, it was a middle of the pack defense. They right, got like, there off of offense. Yeah, I mean that's fact, Jacoy. That's fact. Okay, so yes, that comeback was impressive. But if you're one of the best quarterbacks of all time, that's expected against that type of defense. Yeah, why isn't it expected of Aaron Rodgers then? That's what I'm. That's what I'm. Like, why about. he why he get the choke? But Tom Brady has to come <laughs> back from that if you want a great. <laughs> okay, you're right. Why he get the choke? Because Mike McCarthy not gonna call the same defensive plays. Because uh, Rob Gronkowski not gonna play for the Green Bay Packers. Because we not gonna have a Randy Moss in Green Bay uniform. Because we not gonna have um, I'm sorry, uh, who, I'm sorry, I, I got names written down. We not gonna have a Romeo Cannell playing for the Cheeseheads. Okay. Oh, and, and one thing, real quick, because I, I had a fact check this. I just want to make sure. I had to make sure that that What's that up? Falcons team. That they were a top ten defense. They were number eight that year. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They they were low top ten, but they're top ten. Low yeah, top ten. Yeah, they were top ten. And he came back down twenty eight to three against a bus saw number one ranked offense and a top ten defense. That's like Tom Brady playing like his lowest ranked defense ever. I'm what? sorry. He had he had he almost he went to a Super Bowl when he had a fifteenth ranked defense, but he lost. 
What, what game? That was the foul. Was that the Eagles game? That was the second Eagles game. Okay. So what, what's what's that? So what are you saying? I'm just saying, like, yes, he. It's crazy when he doesn't have a top ten defense. What happens? Okay. So wait. So what was that? Se- what were the seasons the Packers had top ten defenses? What seasons were those? Okay. He literally only had two top ten de- uh, defenses. One was 2010. The other, I believe, and that was the year he won the Super Bowl. It was fifth. Um, the other, I believe, was 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, 2013. So, what happened in 2013? What happened in 2013? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't tell you. Um, I can't. But I, I, can, tell tell you. I can tell you he didn't win the Super Bowl. What I about this year, though? That. Okay. Well, last season. Like, they only scored, what, but, 13 points? The team he played against? Yeah, like the, the the defense did the job. That's the thing. I know, John, you asked that. The defense did their job against the 49ers. 49ers didn't score many points. I don't know. If the, I don't even think the 49ers scored a touchdown. I think it was just field goals, and they still lost. Why? I don't know. Why Why didn't the 49 Why didn't uh, the 49ers score many points? Why didn't Aaron Rodgers score many points? It was a bad game that time. I guess I guess there was some in the air you could say, but that that doesn't that doesn't refrain to like. The low games where the other quarterback is literally outplaying Tom Brady and they win. Like we're we're talking about the fact to where we're talking about. Yeah, they didn't score many points. They're keeping the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hand. They're keeping like him on the sideline for like 30, 40 minutes at a time, <laughs> keeping him iced. But but we're we're not talking about how Tom Brady gets the ball and you know it, it, he gets like these little dump passes and then you know he of course he's going to get. We know Tom Brady loves his end of uh, the half, like, Hail Marys, and he'll get those occasionally. But we know Tom Brady built his 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 uh, legacy off of dump but, passes and and, and, and and screens and um and, sc- and um slants. And like, we got a receiver like Randy Moss. Y'all remember that year, Jesse? How many, how many but, passes uh, that year? He still was dumb. He still dumb. Dumb. He still Toby, just... we're talking about the year he did not win. <laughs> we're talking about the year he Tom did Brady, not though. win. Maybe Aaron Rodgers should try. What'd you I say, John? Dumb passes aren't exclusive to Tom Brady. Well, you talking about the dump passes and the screens yeah, and the and yeah. the uh, slants? Yeah, the teams can run those. Yeah, well, no, I mean, yeah. but you're awful. right. But Belichick <laughs> literally had a safe system for him that they could run and let the other team make de- uh, mistakes based off of their defense. Belichick hanged their hat on defense. He didn't ask Tom Brady to go win games like other team asked quarterbacks to because they had the defense to do it. Okay, that's a fair point. All right, I'm back. Okay, look, I'm going to tell you. I know – okay, I, I got to get back to the, the main point, right? So, John, <laughs> I, I remember you said – I remember you said uh, – or you asked the question basically on the – because I, I don't want to get away from that 49ers game. Because, like, there's a lot of games. Like, you can't get to the conference championship almost basically as many times as Donovan McNabb. And you just can't get – and you've been to the same amount of Super Bowls as Donovan McNabb, too. So, it's like, I don't know. You it's, you, you keep telling me this and that. And I know he doesn't have this and he doesn't have that. And that's cool and all. And there's top ten defense and Tom Brady's had more and all this and that. But you've had – And, and you see how nonchalant he is about that? Like, it doesn't no, no, you tell that, me That doesn't affect winning at all. <laughs> But you present it, but you keep the way you keep talking. You keep talking like Aaron Rodgers has had no help. Like he is by himself. He is the only reason to ever win a game. He is everything, and he is very important to that team. He's obviously the most important thing. But you act like the Packers have given him zero talent. He has a bunch of scrubs, and they they have talent. They are a good team. They make the NFC Championship a ton, and they lose in terrible, ridiculous ways. And with that. Tom Brady, it, like I said, what John said, if Tom Brady went to two or three Super Bowls and one, two, three Super Bowls, Aaron Rodgers has won. There's a context thing. Like rings aren't the only thing, obviously, right? So, but the more rings you have, they're starting the context changes in terms of like, why do you have these many rings? Like you go, you're in New England, you win six. You're at Tampa Bay, you win one. Now you can make arguments for okay, this and that. All you know, maybe this he had a good team, good defense, this and that. But look, he has seven. NFL championships. Before him, the most was five. He has seven. Mm-hmm. Never thought that was go past that. You can't. Mm-hmm. You take away. You keep taking away. It's like you're taking away his accomplishments. He just dinks and dunks. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. Every team he's played for is the greatest team ever. When you act like you know, if Aaron Rodgers, if he went to a couple of Super Bowls, was two and two or three and two, 
you know, maybe you could have, I was like, okay, maybe you can make a little better of an argument with that. But he's been to one Super Bowl. It's not even like he's one and one or one and three or one and two. He has been to a singular Super Bowl. He's been in the league since, oh, he's, I'm not going to say oh five because he wasn't playing. He's been playing and starting since 2008, and he has mm -hmm. one Super Bowl. With all that greatness, all that talent, all that ability, and all those good teams and all these opportunities, he mm -hmm. has been to one Super Bowl. So mm -hmm. you keep, you, and you act like, okay, well, you have Packers. The Packers, the teams that he's been presented with are good. They are good football teams. Mm -hmm. So, but you're not going to listen to that. You're going to fight. And I know I'm not, we, I'm obviously not going to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, I'm a, I'm a, are you done? Because I'm going right. to right. say one thing and I'm going to be finished. Are you done? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Jesse, all I got to say to that is this. You say the Packers are a good team. Yes, they're a good team. They're not even the best team in their division, not a top three team. If you look at their talent, okay? If you ask me, the Rams are better. The 49ers are better. The Buccaneers have more talent. You And I'm not talking about QBs. I'm just talking about if you take the QB off of their teams, off all these teams, who has the most talent, okay? And I'm not asking for a response. I'm just letting you know. The 49ers, the Rams, um, hell, the Cardinals. We, and I said the Buccaneers. Honestly, if you ask me, the um was, and I really hoped he went to this team. It was the um, the Washington uh football team or Redskins, whatever you want to call them. They have more talent than the uh, Packers. Um, and, and I'm not going to the Packers are a good team. Yes, and I'm not done. And that's just in that conference. Those are all playoff teams. Like, the only team I would say might not have as good talent, but they want to with a champ with him is the Cowboys. The Cowboys have more talent than the than the Packers. Um, and I'm not going to go to the uh, AFC because that we got the Chiefs. We got we got the yeah. um, Patriots back in the heyday. We got the we got the Texans back in the freaking playoff when they were had JJ Watt and everything. They have more talent than the Packers. Like, so yes, there's a good team, they're a playoff team. But let's not like act like Aaron Rodgers commended them that success. Let's not act like okay, Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones, like he's a great, a good running back. Not great. He's a good running back. And but like Aaron Foster was a good running back. Freaking like let's stop. Let's stop and think. Okay, they're a good team, yes. But Aaron Rodgers make them where they're consistently a Super Bowl contender. And that's because of his shoulders. And we're not going to act like Devontae Adams came in and helped him get to that level because he's kept the team on that level for so long. And everybody disrespects, like, what he does and brings to that team. Like, there's, they're a good team, but there's other teams with immensely more talent than he has. And that's crazy. The Saints. I didn't say the Saints. The Saints have more talent. But, like. No, but look. I, I Look, I'll tell you. I'm gonna put on uh, final points. That's that's your point. I got you. So obviously we're not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. That's why we do this debate because obviously there's you know differences. And I, right. I'll tell you with the NBA, the NBA one, uh, Tobias. I'm not gonna do that tonight. The reason why is because I know that can last another hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is like we'll, we'll, we'll do this. Um, we can schedule this maybe a couple of days or whatever. Uh, just a part two of this. But so this is basically you know who is the NFL coach. So uh, for final points, uh, just say – everyone get a chance to say your last point and say who you think. You can re just reiterate why you think this person's the greatest of all time and then say your point. And you could – I mean, John, we'll just start. You go John, Tobias, Jacor. Oh, yeah, I'm staying with Tom Brady. Uh, I don't think Aaron Rodgers can be the GOAT. Uh, he has too many failures. Uh, if he the GOAT, then you might as well say Tony Romo the GOAT too. Uh, yeah, that's it. Right, Tobias, you go ahead and put your point in. I mean, at this point, I feel like uh, as I support Tom Brady as well, I feel like this whole conversation, the onus of proving a point really hasn't been on the Tom Brady supporters since I feel like we're in the majority. I feel like the onus has been on the Aaron Rodgers supporter, and I haven't heard anything that's uh, – well, honestly, I don't feel like I could have heard anything that could have truthfully swayed me in terms of the greatest player argument, especially when you look at the fact that – when I look at Aaron Rodgers, I literally see outside of that one year, I see a, a playoff choker who gets 
and he's a great quarterback, a great player, but he gets a lot more respect than I feel like, and this might sound bad, than he deserves because a lot of other players in his same position would be labeled chokers, would be labeled failures yet because he goes off and he has these great stats and he does whatever. We, we let him bypass his first-round exits or his playoff failures or his losing records in the, in the postseason, and it's fine. It's fine, and we continuously call the Green Bay Packers Super Bowl contenders, which to me honestly is laughable because when is the last time have we ever checked for them truthfully going to the Super Bowl? Even last year when they were in the NFC Championship and we, and we were like, oh, they might have a chance there, they, they, they blow it. They blow it every time. Aaron Rodgers gets the MVP, he goes into the playoffs, and he performs like not an MVP. So I, I'm, I'm, that's basically my end. All right, Decoy, you go ahead and reiterate your point. All right. Like I've said it so many times, Aaron Rodgers been in the league 17 years. He really only played about 15 years. Aaron Rodgers have one of the best completion touchdown to interception ratios in NFL history. And Tom Brady's not on that list. Tom Brady has thrown more than twice the amount of interceptions Aaron Rodgers have thrown. And like I said, Aaron Rodgers has had less talent than Tom Brady has had. We went by receivers. We went by defense. We went by coaches. But yet somehow, none of that matters. None of that matters. All that matters to, to media and fandom is that shiny bling diamond at the end of the season. No matter if you had it based on your top 10 defense, two of the top greatest players in their respective positions, um, one of the best defensive coordinators, the best coach of all time, none of that matters. But, but when we come back to Aaron Rodgers – and we act like how he's a contender every year, and he has to do with teams subpar of the 49ers, the Pat. I'm sorry, the the Rams, the Cowboys, and we like he's not. He's laughable in the playoff because he go against these buzzsaw defenses and teams with all these talents, and he doesn't show up because they have units against him. Or against him, Aaron Jones, and Devontae Adams these last couple years. He's not going to be like the greatest of all time. But what I got to say is Tom Brady is not the greatest of all time. Because we get away from the greatest and the best. Tom Brady isn't the best quarterback of all time. Hell, like I said, Gronk is the best tight end. He's the greatest tight end. They're the same. Uh, Deion Sanders is the best uh, safety or cornerback. Uh, and he's the greatest safety or cornerback. They're the same. I, I got but you. when we get the quarterback, we switch it up as best and greatest are two different things. If you're the best, then you're somehow the greatest. Look at look it up. They're the same definition. But I, with sports, we change it up. I got but, you. I, I got you. I like I said, help, coaches, teams, it says it all for these two players. Aaron Rodgers will continue to be my GOAT. And even if he's not the greatest, he's for sure a better quarterback than Tom Brady. Okay. So with that, you know, the funny thing, four people requested to come in. And I was like, if it was like an hour earlier, I would have them come in. And then it was just probably, I felt like it'd be like a seven on one type of thing. I ain't going to lie to you. I feel like everyone would just agree with this, but <laughs> that would be Who's interesting. Who's trying to come now. in? Um, there was four people trying to come in. It was one with the cowboy. Uh, like a yeah, cowboy. I seen them. I seen them. It was four people. I, I didn't obviously. We're at the end of the combo, so I was tempted to be like, maybe they come in and debunk you. I don't know, but you know, maybe next time, um, people come in. I will probably let people come in and just maybe hear what they got to say. That, that's interesting. That just more debate can come up from that. But yeah, man, I think uh, I believe Tom Brady's to go. It's similar to reason why John Tobias. Um, said it and Jacory, yeah, I know. Like, there's in me, there's a difference, and when it comes to sports, greatest and best, and you can make all the argument for Aaron Rodgers being a better quarterback, but me, greatness is all about the accolades in your career, and I believe Tom Brady's had a greater career. But hey, at the end of the day, it is a debate, and obviously, no one's mind will get will really get changed on this. So, 
Hey, this was a great debate, though. So we're going to do this more often. Um, it's always been recorded. I would like love for these people to come in, really. It would have been really fun to have that. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for coming on this. I'm going to go ahead and upload this uh, probably tomorrow on my YouTube channel, JM Sports Factory. You can go ahead and subscribe to that. And hey, I do hope you all have a great night. And, Ja'Cory, I think you're wrong. But, you know, if you think you're right, then that's good. That's cool, too. All right, check the team stats. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right. <laughs>